Hello and welcome to this video presentation on stock trading and stock tick analysis using Oracle NoSQL database. In this presentation, I will talk about the capabilities of Oracle NoSQL database used in the context of stock trading and analysis. So what are the big data challenges that financial sector companies such as the stock trading companies face? The stock ticks get generated every 5 seconds for all the symbols. We need to ensure that we store this fast occurring data in a quick and consistent manner. Also, how we perform trading in real time. How we perform historical analysis which helps us in taking an informed decision during trading. To give you a context here, if we decide to store all the stock tick data for the companies listed in NASDAQ, around 3200 companies, then at the end of the year we would have around 555 GB worth of data. So how we perform historical analysis on such huge amounts of data in real time so that we take an informed decision during our trading. So these are the few big data challenges that a stock trading application has. To demonstrate the big data challenges and solutions for a stock trading company in the financial sector, we introduce Oracle Investments Inc. Oracle Investments Inc. is a stock trading company. It's an imaginary company and Oracle has not got into investments. But the purpose is only to attach a name to our stock trading application which demonstrates the big data challenges and the corresponding solution using Oracle NoSQL. Its goals are to deliver quick response to the user, to ensure quick and consistent storage of real-time stock tech data, to ensure storage of large amount of historical data for time series analysis, and to ensure real-time stock trading to the user. Oracle Investments Inc. has certain challenges when it comes to meeting its goals. It needs to service customers in real time. Any delay in the application loading, UI experience will be a huge drawback considering money is being made or lost depending on the time taken. There are hundreds and thousands of customers trading. Thus, the application needs to be able to service all of them in real time and must be able to read and write information pretty fast. And there is this added pressure of storing the incoming stream of data, the static data that is generated every 5 seconds in a quick and consistent manner. It also needs to scale very quickly as and when the data demands grow. Considering the goals and challenges associated with the trading company, we propose to use Oracle NoSQL database. So what value it brings to the table? Millisecond latency very low read write latency which is in line with oracle investments goal on demand scalability oracle nosql is easily scalable as and when the data demand grows additional storage nodes can be added to the cluster oracle nosql exposes java apis which enable varied client applications to be built and in oracle investments case real time data triggers can easily be created Let's talk a bit more on Oracle NoSQL DB as a data store. The Oracle NoSQL DB stores all kind of information pertaining to the application. It stores user profile information, the user's personal information as well as the portfolio information. Stock tick data which occurs every 5 seconds. Transactional information which is the customer's buy sell trading request. And the reason is obvious why we want to use Oracle NoSQL database because of its low latency, easy scalability and lowest dollar per operation. Let's see the architecture of Oracle Investment Inc's trading application. At the heart of the application is the Oracle NoSQL DB which satisfies the data storage needs of the application. The business layer written entirely in Java has components for analytics that is for time series analysis and for trading. The UI layer gives the customers an opportunity to view the current trends, view market stories, place trading requests and perform historical analysis to take an informed decision while trading. The stock tick generator is a component that simulates stock tick data generation of the real world. Let us now see how the data is organized for our application in the NoSQL DB. We store data in the Oracle NoSQL DB in Avro format. Avro format gives our data, the stock tick data, a structure which enables ease of development and retrieval and also enables compression at the DB level. The top portion of the Avro, highlighted in black, 
is the day's current information or if it's a previous day or a historical uh, day it would be that particular day's closing values the stock array highlighted in red contains the tick information this array data is used for intraday activities let us now see how easy it is to retrieve the data in the oracle nosql world data is accessed using keys the keys are composed of major keys and minor keys in our application the major key is the stock symbol followed by year and month and the minor key is the day in question so to access data for oracle stock for the 2nd of may 2013 we construct the key as follows slash orcl slash 2013 hyphen 05 this constructs our major key and 02 which is the 2nd of may that is where we want the data from is the minor key the major key plays a major part in deciding the data's location in the nosql cluster based on the major key a hashing function which is built into the nosql software generates a hash which is used to identify or select a particular shard this enables fast write and when reading the client driver need not search the entire db cluster for the data as it knows using the hash which shard to target now let's see how oracle investment inc actually looks like and how to use it here we see the login page of oracle investment inc's trading application on the left is the real time tick data being displayed for the symbols listed in the table at the center here we have place to log in into the application and perform trading or any historical analysis view our portfolio so let me log in using my id this is my home page at the top is my portfolio information and at the bottom here i see the top stories for the day now this is the real time data from google finance which is also being stored in oracle nosql db so which implies that we can store any sort of data in oracle nosql database whether it is unstructured or structured doesn't matter here we have two buttons place order and order details place order enables the user to buy or sell stocks and order details gives you information about the current trading request as you can see there is no trading request as of now let me now place a request to purchase oracle stocks mind you i've got 999 dollars in my balance uh, as my balance in the bank so i have to be careful how much i purchase and it has to be within that limit so i'm going to purchase around 10 stocks of orcl i'm going to do, uh, make a order type of market there are different order types market limit stop market and stop limit so for this buy i'm going to set it as market which means so whatever the current market price is that is going to be used to make a buy i'm going to submit my request so let's see yes here we see that the order details has been updated with my current trading request so let's see if it has been processed yes it has been processed and there you go 10 stocks of orcl has been bought and the current market value is 322 dollars and my bank balance is also being updated uh, with the current purchase so all this is being done as oracle nosql db at the back end so the trading request goes to oracle nosql db the details about the user is stored in oracle nosql db so everything happens in real time in a transactional manner let's now make a sell i'm going to sell ibm stocks and i've got 10 stocks i'm going to sell all the tail of them but this time i'm going to change my order type to limit so what is a limit order type in case of a sale when you set the order type as limit the sale happens when the value of the stock is greater than or equal to the limit price remember we always want to sell when the value is high 
So let's say uh, the current value of IBM stock is 212. So I'm going to set the limit price as 215. So I want to sell only if the limit price goes above or uh, touches $215. So I place the request. I'm going to track my order details. So by clicking on this button, it uh, actually uh, refreshes the table. So as you can see, the sale has not happened because the sale price displayed here is still at 212. Now this is the uh, you know uh, the scenario that normally happens uh, in a trading application, uh, the where uh, the values always move up and down. However, in our trading application, to simulate the real world's uh, uh, value changes, we've given these two nifty buttons here. The green one increases the value of the stock selected by 10%, and the red one decreases by 10%. I know it's a very good you know. Uh, a facility to have, uh, sad uh, that it is not available in real world applications, but here it is there to just to demonstrate that as and when the price changes, the stock trading application takes the real time data into consideration and you know uh, services the requests that have been placed. So I'm going to increase the value of IBM stocks by 10%. There you go. I've increased it. So let's see, yes, the value has changed to 232. So if you check the order details, yes, it's gone. And the sale has happened. I've made a profit. My bank balance is now $3,000. So this is how Oracle NoSQL DB drives the application. Everything happens in real time. Let's now do some time series analysis. To do time series analysis, we need to select uh, any of the symbols uh, for which we want to do time series analysis. So let's do it for Oracle. So when you click on the uh, Oracle symbol, we get two graphs here. On the left is the intraday graph, which is being generated as and when the tick data is getting generated. So we are doing a read every time from the DB and there's no latency. So every five seconds, the graph gets uh, updated. On the right here, we've got uh, the trend analysis. On the top is the candlestick graph, which gives us the trend of uh, the stock. How is it faring? On the bottom here, we've got the moving average graph, so it, which gives us an idea about how the stock value is faring over the year. So we can slide the window here and see uh, the values for the Oracle stock for the last you know, uh, one year in question. So this is how uh, we perform uh, historical analysis uh, on the data that is being stored in Oracle NoSQL DB. So for example, if I want to make a, a buy or a sell of uh, the Oracle stocks that I've got, I can always know that uh, since the moving average is $32, so I know that uh, the value of the stock would be in and around $32. So if I want to place a limit on the uh, stock price, it would be uh, around $32. So let's uh, do it for some of the stock. So let's say Microsoft. So the moving average for Microsoft is $28. So I know that, uh, I now know that uh, the uh, value for Microsoft uh, stock would be around $28. So I might you know, uh, place a limit or a stop limit at $28 uh, whenever I'm trading. So this is how Oracle NoSQL DB uh, is used in our trading application. Just to reiterate the capabilities of NoSQL DB, the super low latency, which is driving this application, which is enabling us to perform moving average calculation every time we click on the symbol without any latency, uh, the generation of these beautiful graphs, and the real time trading that we saw earlier, and the super scalability of the NoSQL DB, which enables us to store all this historical data. So this is how uh, Oracle NoSQL DB can be used uh, in financial companies and in this case, stock trading companies. This ends our demo. To get more information about the NoSQL DB, you can visit our forums wherein users uh, are actively responding to various queries on the product. You can go to the oracle.com website to get more information about the product. You can go to OTN uh, to download the product and also the documentation about it is available. Uh, here's more information about what is available on the OTN.
uh, for internal users, uh, you can always visit bigdata.us.oracle.com or nosqldatabase.us.oracle.com or we can visit the Beehive workspace for NoSQL database for more information. Here's a list of email IDs uh, where uh, you can uh, send emails to if you need more information about the product. This demo was created by me, that's ashok.hala at oracle.com and anuj.sahani at oracle.com. Please do write to us if you have any suggestions for the demo or you need more information on using the demo. We'll be happy to respond. Thank you.